Hi, this is Joyce Young. I had the fortune and the honor of meeting Van Cliburn a number of times in my life. The first time was in 2005 when I arrived in Fort Worth, Texas to compete for the 2005 piano competition. And he greeted each and every contestant with such warmth and kindness big smile and I remember I was just awestruck and when I got to shake his hands I couldn't believe how big his hands were they must have been double the size of mine a few years later I was performing Tchaikovsky's first piano concerto with uh, Fort Worth Symphony I knew Van was going to be in the audience and I was very nervous uh, for the concert I got to meet him when I finished um, during intermission. I came outside and there he was. He said, does it bother you when people clap after the first movement, which is what had happened moments prior. And he said, I was the one that started it and people kept giving me the stink eye. I don't think he said the word stink eye, but he said all these people were like, you're not supposed to clap during the piece in between movements. And I said to them, when it's this good, I have to clap. So he was just laughing and I laughed and that was just one of the best memories um, I have of him. But I think the most important and crucial and memorable uh, moment I'll never forget for the rest of my career came um, a few years later. This was in 2012 when um, I was asked to come to an interview with Van Cliburn at New York Public Arts Library. This event took place uh, a bit before um, his uh, prized possessions were being auctioned off at Christie's and um, his beloved mother's piano was on stage and I was supposed to play it um, for the audience um, and he was going to talk about the memory um, of his, his mother and uh, how much he loves this instrument. So I was um, very, very nervous to perform works by Chopin and Rachmaninoff for Van, pieces he knows so well and uh, he was seated on stage. His head was practically inside the piano and he was listening so intently. So I faced him and the audience and I sat down and I remember just being um, a nervous wreck. But um, I, I played pieces that I really loved myself. So um, I was glad that I got through it uh, without <laughs> um, taking a bad turn. And when it was over, I bowed and he gave me a hug and I went to my seat. And then the most amazing thing happened. He became very silent and it appeared as if he was um, shedding a few tears. He had a very emotional uh, private moment um, in front of all of us and we didn't know what to say. I think we all froze because um, we didn't know what was going on. And, um, and then he found his composure and um, continued with um, the interview after saying um, powerful music does that to people. But later, um, he pulled me aside and we had um, a few minutes of conversation that'll stay with me forever. He said, I'd like to tell you what happened when I was silent on stage. My entire life, I was trying to share and deliver the love um, I had for music, share the love with um, everyone else. I was so desperate to share the beauty and its meaning to everyone around me, concert after concert, that's um, all I cared about. And when I was listening to you, that love and dedication for music um, found its way back to me. So it was a full circle, and I thank you for your gift. As you can imagine, I didn't know what to say. I was just awestruck and uh, so moved by um, his vulnerable um, revelation uh, that he had the end even the fact that I could bring that kind of um, 
thought into his mind and it was just um, an honor uh, having the chance to even play for him and knowing that my music had reached him uh, was just so special and I really uh, thought to myself if I can um, do this for the rest of my life this is what I'm going to do because what's better than really sharing um, that passion and the love um, for, for music and delivering it to others and um, being a part of this wonderful um, world where you can really communicate your emotions. So for that, um, Van Clyburn will always stay with me throughout my career as I go through concert after concert. So thank you, Van, for all your inspired performances and your kindness and your support. We will um, always treasure you. And uh, thanks again for all you did for young pianists.